In this video I will talk about the color palette tool and how to create a color palette in DaVinci. You might have seen these color palettes on websites like ShotDeck or on Instagram. A color palette is useful because it reduces the image complexity to essential color information. I've created a DCTL for DaVinci Resolve that allows you to easily create such color palettes. After installing, you can find the color palette tool in your DCTL list and drag it onto a node. The first slider, left position, adjusts the horizontal offset of the left sample points within the image. Moving it left or right shifts the sample points accordingly. The right position slider works in the same way but for the right sample points. Sample spacing modifies the distance between individual sample points. This slider helps in either clustering the sample points closer or spreading them further apart. The center slider moves all sample points left or right together. This shifts the entire set of points across the image. Image up shifts the image upwards. This is useful because the color palette overlays the bottom part of the image. By using the image up slider, you can adjust and reframe the image to keep important parts visible. Next there is the palette high slider, which sets how tall the color palette is. You can make the palette taller or shorter with this slider. Border thickness lets you change how thick the borders around the palette are. The sample sliders let you choose how many sample points to use. You can pick more points for more colors or fewer points for a simpler look, depending on what you prefer. Under the checkboxes we have show sample points, which toggles the visibility of the sample points on the image. Black border changes the border color to black. The palette border checkbox controls whether a border is shown around the entire palette. Image border adds a border around the entire image. The 4x3 checkbox changes the aspect ratio to 4x3, making the 16x9 image smaller so the color palette fits perfectly underneath. This way the image remains fully visible with the color palette below it. This 4x3 format is ideal for platforms like Instagram. We can now export the still image. Using a tool like Fastone Image Viewer, you can easily crop the image to 4x3. Instagram supports this ratio and won't add white borders or alter the image. To save adjustments as a preset, it's best to delete all nodes and keep only a single node with the DCTL and the adjusted sliders. Now, Save this as a power grade by right-clicking on the image and selecting Save Still. When you move to another scene or project, you can drag and drop the power grade onto an empty node. And the exact same look and adjustments will be applied to the new clip. That's it, you can find more information on my website along with the free demo version. If you have any questions, please leave a comment or email me. Have a nice day and see you next time.